Hi there and welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to show you um, how I'm putting together these jumbo tags. Like these are huge. Um, these are Diane Reveley's um, through Ranger and they're just huge. <laughs> you can fold them and make little books out of them. Uh, they're just really very versatile. So I've got this idea and I'm going to cover the tag first and then I'll continue. Now what I did early on in another um, session was I used some um, catalog pages to create some backgrounds and I used my jelly plate and did some stenciling and added in some color. I did I liked the tucks peeking through a little bit so I left some of that and once they dry they look great and I'm not going to do anything else to this but I'm going to adhere it to the tag and that will be the base to get us started. So I'm going to use my Yoohoo glue stick and I'm going to put the glue on the tag itself and then that way I can just apply it to the paper and then trim off the excess. Now I like the Yoohoo glue stick. If you have watched other tutorials of mine, you know that it is one of my favorites. But I live in Florida and it's very humid here and this glue stick works great here. Now, depending on the climate you're in, you may not find that the Yoohoo glue stick works so good or so well. So you have to kind of test out your glues and see what works best for basically where you are. Okay, so I think I'm gonna put the tag up in here and I like that middle part of it a little bit more. So I'm just gonna bring it down a little and use my brayer to smooth out the bubbles. If you get any bubbles in here, you just use your brayer. You can use an old credit card or a room key. And this will just help get the bubbles out. Now that I have it glued down, I'm just gonna trim off the excess. Okay, there we go. Now, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna punch back through the hole, and that way, in case I add anything else onto it, I don't lose where the hole is. And that was just a quarter inch hole punch. Now, what I wanna do is create a pocket on here, and I have my new Art Pop cards that I'm gonna pull from the various colors. I kind of like this one. I'm just gonna place these down. And what I'm gonna do is I think I want the tag to actually be going in this direction rather than upright. So it's gonna be going in the horizontal. And I think this one wins. I really like the way that one looks. Okay, so I think we're gonna go with this one. And so my thought is to stitch it on and then it'll leave me a pocket up here in the top. And so I'm gonna use the sewing machine to just do a straight stitch around the edges, um, not the top, just the sides and the bottom, and then that will leave me a little pocket. So I think that will work. But I wanna think about that a minute because I might wanna add a little something else to it. Okay, so what I have done is I have taken, this is a stamp by Kristen Peterson. It's one of my favorites. It's from the Dream Thicket collection, available at Paperback Studios. Now I've mounted mine because I do a lot of workshops and I teach and it's easier for my students to just use these wood block stamps. So I've gone through with a black acrylic paint and I just stamped a bunch of these onto um, the same catalog paper, text paper, anything like that. I like the way it looks a little better because you've got the text peeking through and I just think that's really pretty. And so I'm just gonna look at the ones I've done. And I kind of liked here too that it's not super perfect. You know, there's some areas of it that aren't um, really that perfect. So I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna use this one. And I'm gonna trim off the excess. Thank you. 
And I really want to use this more for contrast. Um, I, I want to incorporate this in here just to add some extra contrast to it. And I love the pattern, so that will add a little bit extra to it too. Now, I think I'm going to use these as gifts. So I want to customize this a little bit as well. So my thought is I have these various tabs. These are from a couple of different collections that I have. And I think these would be really pretty if I maybe put it right at the top and I could put the person's name on here that I'm going to send it to you. Um, I'm not sure. I'm still kind of thinking about that, but that's a possibility. I think I like that idea. All right. So I don't know. I might, might just staple it on. I could stitch it on, but I'm not really sure exactly which way I'll go with that. All right. So my other idea is that inside the pocket, I want to put one of these little journals and these are little moleskin journals. I believe it's pronounced K years or K years, K years. Um, it's I think C A H I E R S. And these are just lovely little um, journals. I love them because they're stitched and they lay flat. I've done a tutorial on altering these in a couple of, well, several different sizes. And then there's a little pocket here in the back, which I love. So I was thinking I could take in addition to the cards in the new Art Pop line, which is called 100 Days. This actually came from my 100 day project that I did. And I used it to create a bunch of art pieces now, um, stickers and cards. I could actually customize the little booklet as well. Now this, these stickers might be a little bit large, but I think these little ones are kind of good. And what I can do is maybe coordinate the card here that I'm going to use for the pocket. I could probably coordinate one of the stickers and put it on the little journal, maybe in the front. And I can use that and then maybe write the name um, of the recipient on there. So I'm just going to look and see which one of these might be a good match. I think anything with the pink on it will work. Um, let's go. This one looks like it coordinates pretty well. So I'm going to go with this one. And I'm going to place it, I think right down here in the corner is good. And then I can put their name on there if I want. I can doodle around that, but I'm going to come back to that. I just want to give you an idea of what my plan is, and that is to tuck this into the pocket. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this to my sewing machine. Again, I'm going to stitch the sides and across the bottom. And maybe do two times on all three sides. And then I'll come back and I'll show you um, a couple other things I'm going to do to embellish this. Now, I also am thinking, let me think a second here. Sometimes when I'm sitting with all these supplies in front of me, I come up with another idea. So I have this sari ribbon. Look at how pretty this is. And I love it. It looks like bubble gum to me. It reminds me of bubble gum, jelly beans, but look at the colors and how well they all go together. And then there's this other end here. It's got, I've got a bunch of this that's a little bit lighter. And I'm wondering if there's a way, because I want to use it on the tag up at the top to coordinate that maybe into part of this as well. Maybe I could stitch a little bit of this on here. Anyway, I'll figure that out. But I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and uh, then I'll come back and show you the next step. All right, I love how that turned out. Um, I stitched the sides, the bottom, and then I did add this little bit of sari ribbon and sort of this little clump. And I just love that. It softens it and everything. Okay, so let's take our flower and I'm gonna put some glue stick on the back of that. And I know exactly where this is going for contrast. I'm gonna put it right up here on the top here and I'm going to come down a little bit more than halfway and then I'm going to fold it over and then press down. Now I did cover up that hole but I know where the hole is so I'm just going to take the end of my paintbrush here and gently push it through so that it goes through. And then I know now where the hole will be, so I can go ahead and repunch that. So I can put my sorry ribbon in there. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna actually use the same color, the same one that I have here. 
think that looks good. So let's go ahead and put that in there. All right, trim. Okay, so let's come, let's come back to the little booklet. Um, I do think I'm gonna customize this a little with a tab. And I think I'm just gonna use the staple, uh, stapler to do it, my tiny attacher. I could have stitched it on beforehand, but I think I'm gonna just roll with the, and I could put it over here, I could put it in the middle. First, let me find one that I like. You don't have to do it this way. You can certainly put their name on it in another way. But I like that. I like the um, addition of the tab. So if I can find one that I like. And what about this green one? This green one's kind of pretty. Let's see. And it kind of plays off the green that's over here. Or maybe it doesn't have enough contrast. All right, I'm gonna think about that. Because I don't know. Maybe I don't want that. Maybe this one. Nah, I don't know. Okay, I'll come back to that. All right, so let's get our little book done. Now, again, you can customize this by putting their name on here. Um, you can even put a little sticker on the back if you wanted to customize it like that. And... So I'm gonna decide how I wanna do this, but I think putting their name on it is probably a good idea. There are several ways that you can add the a name or maybe the initials to the recipient. And of course, you can leave that empty. You don't have to add anything to it at all if you don't want to. I think I'm going to scribble on a little bit of, uh, I don't know. Maybe just a little bit around. I'm just gonna use my Faber Castell. This is the grip pencil. Oh, I just love this pencil. And maybe a little bit of some darker colors. Let me use my charcoal pencil. Yeah, because this kind of looks rough and I like the way that looks. Okay. Now you can use a Sharpie, you can use a pen. You can use rubber stamps if you want to use rubber stamps to put the name on there if you want to do that. Um, I think I'm just going to put maybe just some initials. Let me, I'm just going to use my Sharpie. And I'm just going to put initials on there. All right, so I'm going to let that sit aside to dry. And so while that's drying, we're going to come back to this. And a couple things I want to do here. So I had these little uh these little pins made and this one actually matches the card so i'm going to use this and i have these since i'm using a little book i thought a pencil a little sketchy pencil might be fun so i've got these um, faber castell pencils and i'm going to use these um sort of it's like a little added gift so what i'm going to do is i'm going to slide it into the little slip here I made with the fiber, the sari, and I'm going to slide the pencil in and then kind of re-tighten it. And so now we've got this pencil that's got the little added, it's an added uh, enhancement to it. And I thought the pin would be pretty um, on there as well. Now that ribbon's a little bit thin, so let's do this. Um, you could actually attach it to it, but I think I'm going to do it separate. Let me see here. Maybe I can tie it. Maybe just tie another one on here. That might work. And then just put the... Um, you could certainly attach it directly. I don't know. That might not work. All right, let me try that first and see. That's what I should have done first. So I'm just going to open that up and go ahead and put this on here. I'm just going to slide a little bit of that the pin back. I don't want to open it too much because then it pops out. Come on. 
There we go. And then, it's on there, not, not on there great, but it's on there. Okay, so there, now we've got um, a little pin, art pin, some sorry ribbon and our pencil. You could even put this pin down here, so that's an option too if you wanted to do that as well. Okay, so let's come back to our little, um, our pocket here. And let's see, I think that I want to um, wrap my, my little booklet, my little book. I think I'm gonna wrap it. So I'm gonna use some rice paper and rice paper kind of looks like this. It's, can't read it. Um, I just have a pack of it. It's a little bit like a tissue paper, but it's, it's actually quite different. It has a very smooth side and then kind of a, it's hard to explain it. It kind of reminds me of linen paper. I love it. Um, so we're gonna use this. You could use tissue paper. You don't have to use rice paper. Um, whatever you have, you can use deli paper too if you wanna use deli paper. But plain old white tissue paper will work as well. So either one, but I happen to have some rice paper and I wanna use some rice paper for mine. Okay, now my charcoal pencil kind of rubbed a little bit, so I kind of wiped that off and then I went in with a pen and I um, scribbled around the outside of that. I used a Faber-Castell pit pen in black and then I actually like that a little bit better. I like those little scribbles around it um, even more. Okay, so let's wrap this little booklet and see how this comes out. All right, so I'm gonna put it, um, I think I'll put it in this direction. So maybe wrap it a couple of times here. No, let's do it the other way. I wanna make sure that it's got the sticker at the front. I mean, there's no wrong way to do this. Okay. Uh, so we've got this nice little fold and I'm just gonna take the ends here, just like you're wrapping a little package. So I'm gonna fold that down, and fold this one down. I don't think that's the way I wanted to do that. Now, let's go this direction. There we go. I want those little ends to meet. Okay, so let's do this. You don't even have to wrap it in paper, but I just, it's like a little package, a little gift. There we go, I wanted this to overlap. All right, so next I'm gonna take some twine. This is just some hemp. You can use hemp or twine. And I'm gonna start on the front and then pull it. I'm gonna join it underneath, looping it around itself to the front. And then I'm gonna tuck this one under. And I have a very long piece of twine, so I'm gonna trim that. This one's gonna go under. I'm gonna situate it and then you can tie it. Okay, there. And I'm not gonna tie it in a bow, I'm just gonna tie it like that. Okay, but let's jazz this up a little bit. So I have another Art Pop card from the 100 Day Collection. It's a little journaling card, so I'm gonna slide that in and I'm gonna use another Art Pop sticker from the set. I think this one looks good. And I'm just gonna take it, and I'm gonna, right here at the middle, I'm going to put the sticker right about the middle there, and then fold that over. Yeah. And then slide this back over. I could have done that first. Sometimes it's an afterthought. <laughs> it's like, what do I want to do next? It would have been easier to put it on there. Okay, so now it's kind of secured and it matches. You could write a little note on here. I'm not going to do that right now, but um, okay, so let's find our little tag here. And we're almost done. This will slide right inside here. 
like that. All right, there we go. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this and got some an idea of how you can create a very large tag with a nice pocket and a little gift holder, really, with some other little extras for um, a recipient to receive from you. Thank you so much. Again, if you have any questions at all, please let me know. All right, have a great day. Bye-bye.